Who is your favorite track athlete? Do you have one? Ooh, Steve Prefontaine, probably my favorite track athlete. Some I still look up to to this day. I do, Carl Lewis. And what event is he? He does the long jump. Long jump? And the sprints. Sprints. Oh, I believe Usain Bolt because he's fast and yeah. I'm fast too. <laughs> <laughs> Allison Felix, she's a sprinter. She's yeah. super amazing. Super good. If you could do any track event, what would it be? Uh, ooh. Any track event, probably a long jump or triple jump. Why? I don't know, that's so much fun to jump into the sand. It's yeah. a lot nicer than running a lot of laps around a track, so. Individually, the javelin. It'd probably be pole vault, but they say they don't have a big enough pole for me. <laughs> Ooh, if I could do any track event, I would do pole vault. So I've been asking to do pole vault for the past four years, and they keep saying no, and I feel like I would be a really good pole vaulter. Yeah. So that is for sure what I would do. <laughs> Pull out. has to be something about like flying over the top of that. It's kind of super fun. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Why? Because they, you throw something and they bring it back. So, <laughs> I mean, that's convenient because right? the cat won't bring it back. Uh, dogs for sure. Why? Uh, they're just a lot cooler. Uh, and I can run with dogs. You can't really run with cats. Yeah, you could try. Yeah, you could try, but it probably <laughs> won't work out. Dogs. Oh, cats are awful. Why do you want dogs? Because the man's best friend, they're loyal, cats try to kill you. <laughs> do you have any dogs? Yeah, I have a dog, Otis, who's an English bulldog. He comes to practice sometimes. Mm -hmm. Easily dogs. Oh my gosh. Do if you, you have any dogs? I have two. I actually have two cute dogs. The cutest dogs in the world, actually, I would say. Yeah. But What are they? Um, what are they? Lab and Rottweiler mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Precious, precious brother and sister. Aww. Yeah, they're really so adorable. Cute. I know I miss them a lot. Dogs. They're so cuddly and warm, you know, they yeah. make you feel good and they're always so excited to do whatever, you know, they're always down to like, <laughs> you hype them up a little bit and they go forever. Right? So cats yeah. are just... Yeah, do you have any dogs? I do, I have my own, his name's Bear and he's just, he's a Choweenie. A Choweenie? Just a little, Aww. cuddles with me all the time. <laughs> What's on your pregame playlist? Uh, pregame playlist... Um, any song that gets me hyped, uh, Future, Kendrick Lamar, uh, Chance the Rapper, name oh. name one really, yeah. <laughs> I guess the whole Watch the Throne album with Jay-Z and Kanye West. My pre-game playlist, always Beyonce. Always Beyonce. Yeah. She always gets me hyped. Right? She's my girl. <laughs> I feel empowered when she talks about the girls and stuff. I'm like, that's me. Yes. And she's like, I'm about to kill it. I'm like, me too, girl. <laughs> so obviously, I got to implement Queen B into my playlist so I could kill yeah. it out there on the track too. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know. Something just very casual, very relaxing. Nothing crazy, nothing banging. My pregame playlist, I don't really have one. I just sit in silence, weirdly enough. Okay. Logic's new album right now. Yeah? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, a lot of rap music, and I think I'm gonna add Cardi B's new album because that's just hype, you know? <laughs> it's so good. Your new addition to the crayon box, what color are you gonna be? Oh, black because it's beautiful. <laughs> uh, I would be a combination of yellow, orange, and red. Indigo. Is it a new one? Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't you, know can still be, box. you can still be in. Yeah, maybe I won't. <laughs> Your new addition to the crayon box. What color are you gonna New addition to the crayon box? Easily. Salted caramel. That's my nickname. Oh. So you know, of course, of course, I would have to say salted caramel. Yeah. <laughs> Gold. Gold? Absolutely. How did you start getting involved with track? Um it was a way to stay busy in high school, and I ended up being good at it, so it brought me to Baker. Uh, I actually started my senior year of high school oh, really? on a whim. Wow. So, it, long story short, I just kind of fell in love with it. I started with the jumps, and then I ventured over to the sprints. And then I actually got recruited as a combined event athlete, so just dabbled in a handful of things, and it just turned out well. So, wow, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I got involved in track in high school. Some coach was like, you know what, you kind of have the physique, and I was like, what does that mean? And so I got out there, hurdled, and he's like, wow, you have instant, like, you have amazing form. I was like, wow, thanks. 
and I've just been doing track ever since. It's been nice, but really, like, my main motivation is just to keep the body looking right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. Especially growing up, so I was just like, man, I should probably keep doing this track thing because yeah. this, this is a great sport to maintain the body. Right. <laughs> uh, so I played baseball throughout high school and then senior year. I just didn't want to play baseball and they said, well, you should try javelin. So then I went for track in senior year. So. Wow. Uh, I did it uh, since I was like four or five years old and just did Hershey track all through up till now. So I've been doing it for like 15 years. Wow. So, long time. <laughs> yeah. Who's your celebrity crush? Uh, Janine Aiko, uh, Big Sean's girlfriend. Kate Upton. Okay. The two main characters in Black Panther, Chad and uh, what's his name? Fabian says he looks like him. Michael B. Jordan. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. He could be my whole husband. I would agree to that any day. <laughs> <For> any day. <laughs> oh, Channing Tatum. That's a good one. Do you have any superstitions when it comes to track? Um, I don't like people standing in the back of the ring before I throw because I'm looking at them and I'm thinking about other stuff instead of me throwing, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I wear the same socks for every meet. And, um, yeah, I think it's just the socks. Yeah. But then, like, pregame, make sure I, like, make some eggs and bacon and then sleep on the bus. Oh, absolutely. I am so superstitious when it comes to sports. Like, I wear the same, like, bra, socks, spandex, you name it. It's the same every single meet, right. like, um, and I'll listen to the same, like, song for each, like, if I'm running, like, my warm-up laps, then I'll listen to that song, and then when I'm throwing, I'll listen to a different song. Like, it's yeah. the same every time. So. That's funny.